am an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design. I hope that you like, enjoy, and become a subscriber. This is the last video in the design and prototype video series. You just built a beautiful mock-up or a prototype for a client. You need to document your work either via stills or video or both. A lot of times you're finishing your prototype and you have to get it out for delivery that day. So you need to have some sort of a setup that you can access and take photographs or video quickly and easily of your work. I'm gonna share with you what I use. In this case, I needed to photograph a couple of the spray cans that I used to paint the mock-up. I'm using a little pop-up softbox. They're fairly cheap and inexpensive. You can buy them on eBay or Amazon. Here you can see the camera in front of it and what that setup looks like with one light lighting it from above. This gives you some diffused lighting with soft shadows, except the background's not super clean, but still, it's better than your living room. If you want to take your setup to the next level, you can do what I used to do I used a pull down roller shade that I got from Ikea. Fairly inexpensive, it rolls up out of the way and I can quickly pull down the roller shade onto a desk, photograph my stuff and then roll the uh, shade back up when I'm done. Ideal is the setup here. This is what I'm currently rocking. I have a permanent curved back wall with adjustable lighting so I can quickly just turn on the lights drop a product into place, snap a few shots, get something really uh, quality and repeatable. I know exactly what I'm gonna get. Nice soft shadows. It shows the product in a good light. If you don't have a lot of room in your studio, maybe the next best thing is gonna be natural light by a window. This was shot next to a window on a black piece of foam core. Gives you a nice reflection, good lighting. Another option is to shoot your stuff outdoors. In this case, I'm shooting my stuff outside. It gives the product some context. I spent a couple hours in a local park shooting two, 300 stills, and that's good because that gives me options. You may have noticed the intro and outro shots of the SolarVox where there's a camera rotating around the solar charger. For this, I built a simple PVC dolly made with some roller blades that I purchased at a local Salvation Army. Over the years, I've upgraded this little rover uh, and I've added a 12 volt motor that is battery powered so that it can drive itself across my work surface and record me while I'm working and I can get a nice dynamic shot. That concludes the series, concept or prototype. I really enjoyed making these videos. I hope that everybody liked watching them. Look for more content soon, and thanks for your support. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can click on the little icon on the bottom right of the screen to do that. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Rock on. I hope that you check out and enjoy some of the other videos that I have. Don't forget to like and subscribe.